Hello everybody, this is Coding with Ado, and this is another episode of the Project 100 API Connections. In this episode, we are talking, going to talk about Weather API. Um, in a previous episode, we talked about weather.gov, which is a free library to connect the weather. You will find the link somewhere over there. Um, Today we're going to talk about Weather API, which is a paid version of a weather uh, service. It has some advantages. For example, it gives you a possibility of sending directly the address or the city instead of having to fetch the geolocation. So let's get started. For that, we'll need the API key and more on that later when we go to their website. Um, so let's start the package as always, and let's create our index.js file as always. As we require also the um, API key, we will need to install .n as always as well. Perfect. And let's create the .n file, which will have the weather API key. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna require first, of course, d.env and config that so we can be able to access that with the process.env. Let's create the function, uh, which let's call it get weather information with a location. And let's create the promise that will resolve that thing. Promise that resolve, get weather information with the location, then body console dog body. Perfect. And uh, let's call the location same as before San Diego. San Diego, California. I love Santiago. So now we need to do, know what to do here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, set the API key. It goes to process.n.weather API key. Okay. Let's set the URL. Const URL equals to https api dot weather dot eh, weather api dot com slash b1 slash current dot json and then we're gonna send two things oh sorry let's do the other quotes perfect so let's first send the key which is the api key let's send the location so it's gonna be a queue which is going to be location. And there's another parameter here. Oh, I'm missing the cache. And there's another parameter here that the API requires. It's the AKI. It's no. OK, if you forget about this, it will send you an error. So let's do the try catch and let's do the fetch. Console there. Keep in mind that I'm not validating every single type of error that it's, it is out there. Uh, for that, you can see their API page, their documentation, which will see, share with you all the different errors that you will be able to see. This is just a simple tutorial on how to connect directly. So we need first to do the weather fetch. Uh, this is a get, so we don't need headers, we don't need body. So basically we do like an await fetch URL. Then we need to transform that information JSON to a weather data. Equals to weather fetch JSON. And we can return directly that information. In different episodes, I'm gonna talk about GraphQL, I'm gonna talk about using Axios. But for these first tutorials, you know, using always the native, it makes sense. Uh, I wait here. 
So well, now we need to have the we need to grab our API key. So how do we get the API key? We go to weatherapi.com. We go to your account or you can sign up or log in. In my information here, you have the API here. You can generate, if you don't have one or you need to change it, you can click here, generate, generate the key, and you can get a new key. So I'm gonna copy this, okay? I'm gonna put it in here, and let's run this thing. So now you can see we have all the information from San Diego, California. We have the current weather, which is 20 centigrade, 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit, partially cloudy. We have some nice images and everything. So that's like the advantage of using a paid service. But of course, Weather API, I think you have like 5 million calls per month for free uh, on the free plan. So don't worry, you can still use this. But I want to share with you, you know, both alternatives, paying and completely free. So this is another video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next.